regard to prevention before the affliction of magic, a person recites Surah Al-Ikhlas, which is Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad, with A'udhu Billahi Min Ash-Shaytani Ar-Rajim, Bismillahi Ar-Rahmani Ar-Rahim, and they also recite Surah Al-Falaq, which is Surah Al-Falaq, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi Al-Falaq, to the end of the Surah, and also Surah Al-Nas. These chapters, it has been related with regard to these chapters from a Sayyidah to Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would recite these chapters blow on the hands then wipe the face and the entire body after reciting these chapters. In some narrations it states each chapter is recited three times after every salah and then once before sleep. Additionally a person recites Ayatul Kursi they recite Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum until the end of the ayatul kursi and they blow on the hands and they blow on the face and on the entire body. This is prevention before affliction. What has also been related from Ka'ab al-Ahbar rahimahullah ta'ala that he would recite the following dua. A'udhu bi wajhillahi al-azim alladhi laysa shay'un a'adama minhu وَبِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَاتِ الَّتِي لَا يُجَاوِزُهُنَّ بَرٌ وَلَا فَاجِرٌ وَبِأَسْمَاءِ اللَّهِ الْحُسْنَى كُلِّهَا مَا عَلِمْتُ مِنْهَا وَمَا لَمْ أَعْلَمْ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقَ وَبَرَأَ وَذَرَأَ And he said, if I did not recite these words on a daily basis, then the magicians from the Jewish community at that time, they would have affected me. And he, he says, by way of hyperbole that they would have made me a donkey in order to demonstrate the strength of this dua. So you recite such type of ad'iyah, such type of dua every day. Many of you can acquire the book Al-Adhkar of Al-Imam Al-Nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala which is available in English also and within the book Al-Adhkar you will find these ad'iyah, these supplications. In one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam narrated by Al-Imam Muslim in his Sahih Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said La ba'sa bir ruqa ma lam yakun fihi shirkun There is nothing wrong with the ruqya as long as there is no shirk in the ruqya. So as, it, as I mentioned the prohibition of a nushra there is a prohibition with regard to those ad'iya which contain shirk. So a person must ensure that any dua they read is has tawheed and is from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and if it is not from the sunnah it is in accordance with al quran al kareem and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa Additionally, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi shifa'ayni al-Qur'ani wal-asli, which is narrated by al-Imam al-Hakim in his mustadrak, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you should use two cures. What are they? Al-Qur'an wal-asl, which is honey. Now, of course, honey has its uses. There are many types of use that can be utilized with pure honey. Honey that is not uh, affected by modern means. Of course, this would mean organic honey. A person acquires organic honey and they can recite Quran on the honey and eat from the honey. So there is a cure in al Quran al Karim and things like honey. Similarly, in another hadith, in the Sunan of Imam al Nasai, the milk of cows is mentioned as a shifa. Why? Because this is in reference to wild cows, cows that were permitted to, to graze openly on, on the fields because they would eat from various shrubs and herbs. Those shrubs and herbs have diff different medicinal re uh, effects, uh, remed remedial uh, or effects which give remedy to a person who drinks from that milk. So with regard to reciting al Quran al Karim, a person can recite even Surah Al-Fatiha when they recite on a patient. In one Sahabi radiallahu an simply recited Surah Al-Fatiha on a person who had a scorpion bite and he continuously read Surah Al-Fatiha and the person was cured. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ أَنَّهَا رُقْيَةً What made you understand that it is Ruqya? Of course, the Sahabi understood it was Ruqya because the general, the entire Qur'an is Shifa. 
ما هو الشفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين. We reveal from this Quran which is a shifa and a mercy for the believers. So the companion understood this and recited from Al Quran Al Karim. So regular recitation is a prevention of magic and sihr. Remember, if a person is not praying his five daily prayers, they are not staying in a state of tahara. They are carrying out haram. If they do not do ghusl bathing after the major impurities, and they do not do things like istinja, basic purity, and they do not avoid muharramat, haram actions, then they will be afflicted by sihr, by jinn, by magic, by jinn, and the, the evil eye. Of course, when they go to these false peers, the peers will never tell them to adopt the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All they do is they tell people to give them money. If they do not ask for money, they make people give bay'ah to them and join their cult. This is something that should be avoided because in reality, these peers are not there to help.